have contributed to the development of theatre in the country. The colourful event brought together actors, friends, veteran performers, as well as officials from the National Centre for Arts and Culture. The event also witnessed the crowning of the adoption of the chief patron of the association in the name of Alhaji Pambai, who is a veteran actor. He is described as a man of virtue and has immensely helped in the development of arts in the Gambia. Mbai led the gathering through the story of the formation of various drama troops in the Gambia, citing that it was a struggle to pave the way for the generation today. He expressed delight and gratitude to the association for choosing him out of a lot of people. This, he says, makes him feel that he has been remembered and his services appreciated. The night also witnessed the awarding of individuals who have immensely contributed to the success of the association. The awardees included some of the leading names in Gambian theatre industry, among them Mr. Kotongam, Mrs. Umisamba, Mr. Bajangum, Alhajim Baichau, Mrs. Janet Bajan Young, among a host of others. The night also featured musical and theatre performance by various drama groups. Theatre is a global language that can change and influence the life of others. Thus, support is needed from all stakeholders in harnessing young talents. For GRTS News, I am Abdullahi Baji. Well, the report by Abdullahi Baji takes us to our first break. When we come back, we'll take a look at news from outside the Gambia. Then tune out. Welcome back to GRTS News. The former president of Niger, Mamadou Tanja, has announced his return to politics after he was de uh, deposed in a military coup in 2010. As we hear in the CFI report, thousands were turned out to show solidarity with the former president as his announcement coincided with the 22nd anniversary celebrations of his political party. Mamadou Tanja is making a return to politics in Niger. The former president, who was ousted in a military coup in February 2010, attended a meeting of the National Movement for the Development of Society Party on Sunday. The MNSD that brought the former president to power is celebrating its 22nd anniversary. The party used Tanja's presence to rally thousands of people at a time when members are deserting the party. He is a leader, a high-ranking leader who led this country. The MSND cannot do without President Tanja's advice, his leadership, his wisdom and experience. The 22nd anniversary of Niger's ruling party was an opportunity for the party that is now in opposition to criticize the actual government's performance two years after President Isufu Mahamadou's election. The United States is winding down its mission in Afghanistan after close to a decade of occupation. As CNN's current reports, Afghan civilians face a terrible battle to return their country to normalcy. As U.S. troops prepare to leave a country where they face the terrible challenge of identifying their friends from their enemies. While the landscape may be visually stunning, this is inhospitable terrain. And for the team of U.S. Special Forces in charge of Midrab in eastern Afghanistan, this environment is brutal, if not deadly, as they try to distinguish friend from foe. In the past few weeks, eight IEDs have been found in this valley that harbors Taliban members and sympathizers. But 12-year-old Wasim has no loyalty to those he calls the bad people after discovering a landmine near his home and reporting it to police. Do you and all the other kids, you know, like you guys look for that kind of stuff or do you just, you just notice some, something suspicious on the ground? I found the IED with wires sticking out, explains Wasim to the US Special Forces, who've come to thank him and donate supplies to his school. It would have blown up my family and hurt them the way it hurt my friend. Standing beside him with a prosthetic leg, 11-year-old Pavades. I was caring for my animals when I stepped on an IED, he tells us. Without a leg, I feel hopeless. 
He's one of the many helpless victims caught up in a war that's been dragging on for almost 12 years. And a harsh reminder that the enemy is almost impossible to defeat. Considering we've been at the school for more than an hour, the concern is that either the Taliban or insurgents have had time to plan an attack or plant an IED on this road. And even though these guys have been on a mission to win hearts and minds in the village, they had to remain constantly vigilant because this is a hostile environment. Video? Yeah. He's just making a quick call. Okay. Less than 24 hours later, another IED is reported as special forces stop in at the local army checkpoint. You say like four, five hundred meters east of this grid. So like there is a, yeah, I guess they buried an IED last night. But the ANA is reluctant to search the property. All right, you're going to grab some of your dudes, and you're going to walk us over the compound, and then Afghans are going to search the compound. It's not going to be us. Yeah, they want an Afghan face on it. Fearing an ambush, a surveillance drone hovers overhead as the soldiers quickly surround the perimeter. Hey, well, do you have any eyes on A&A &A down on the road? They move in. And a short time later, mortars and grenades are discovered. But there's still no sign of the A&A &A chief. You got friggin' mortars underneath the friggin' doorstep. He needs to bring his out here. As America's war in Afghanistan winds down, security is now in the hands of local authorities. But there are serious concerns in these insurgent areas whether they're willing to put their skills to use. U.S. Special Forces will be the last to leave this war. It's now up to the Afghans to prove they have the heart to continue the fight. Anna Corrin, CNN, Nidrab, Eastern Afghanistan. Well, let's now take a quick look at the weather report courtesy of the Central Forecast Office. The source assures us of a continuous flow, and from there, everything follows. And for those of us who know what the River Gambia stands for, understanding its sustainability in all aspects of life is easily confirmed. The River Gambia provides nutritious delicacies as food, while it provides its wildlife a balanced ecosystem. This river, as a sanctuary, is committed to its inhabitants' needs without season, and as you travel along, all these values are replicated in one company, Elton. Just like the River Gambia, leads in its commitment to values that matter most. Elton, championing the vision for a new generation. Hello and welcome to the weather news, beginning with a summary of the weather during the day today, followed by a forecast. The Gambia this afternoon was mainly warm and sunny. And for what will follow, let's begin with a look at the satellite image captured at 16.30 hours, indicating the emergence of medium-level clouds over the Gulf of Guinea states, with the rest of the continent being dry and stable during the period. And for our forecast tonight, we're expecting conditions of the Gambia to be relatively cool but stable. Tomorrow we'll begin with a cool and variably cloudy atmosphere, becoming warm and sunny thereafter. Winds will continue to be northwestern orientation, but generally light to moderate in speed. And morning temperature values will be 18 degrees Celsius over Banjul and Yudum. We are expecting 16 degrees Celsius over Karawan and Sibano. Guinea will record 17 degrees Celsius. And we are expecting 18 degrees Celsius over Kau and Sapo. Njembure will record 19. Basen Fatoto will be 20 degrees Celsius warm tomorrow morning. Top temperatures will be 29 degrees Celsius over Banjul. We are expecting 30 degrees Celsius over Yindum. Kerawan and Sibano will record 35 degrees Celsius. Genoi, 37 degrees Celsius. And we are expecting 30, 39 degrees Celsius over Kaur and Sapo respectively. The rest of the country will record 40 degrees Celsius tomorrow afternoon. We are expecting low tides of 0 0.50 meters at 9 a.m. and 0 0.54 meters at 10 p.m. High tides will be 1.40 meters at 3 a.m. and 1.54 meters at 3.42 p.m. The sun will rise at a minute to 7 o'clock and will set at 19 minutes past 1900 hours. That was our forecast tonight. Thank you. Until we meet again, have a pleasant evening. Good night.
Thank you to Yasin and your outfit is nice. Now it's all about Made in the Gambia.